It's frugal family food time. Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia and I am in the kitchen for my first time. Well, it's not really my first time in the kitchen, obviously. I'm in the kitchen quite frequently. Today I'm gonna to be making ajiaca, which is a traditional Colombian soup, and I'm going to be making it from stir to table in 30 minutes. It's like a challenge. Ready, set, go. Today I'm collabing with Amanda from the Fundamental Home and Tangie from The Caver's Wife doing frugal family food. And I'm super, super excited to be doing this. This is gonna be so much fun. I will link their channels down below. If you don't know them, you have got to go check them out. So every Friday, basically, Tangie and Amanda showcase another channel doing a food collab and they pick a theme for the month. And so this month, I'm doing it, so excited. And before I get started, also on Facebook, there is a group called Frugal Family Food run by Tangie and Amanda, and it's a huge number of people, and they are absolutely amazing. I highly recommend you go check them out. As always, they're gonna be in the description box, and they come up with the most amazing frugal food ideas. You can really ask them anything there. So this week, I actually posted a question in the Frugal Family Food group. I asked what you can do with leftover roasted chicken. And would you believe in like just a couple hours, I had like 50 responses. I mean, immediately, some of them had links to recipes, all of them super simple and frugal. Most of them were things I already had in my house. So it was just like pick and choose. It was awesome. So go check them out. You will not regret it. They are a great group of people. So as I mentioned, this month's theme is quick frugal meals. I'm making ajiaco. Ajiaco is a Colombian corn and potato soup and it is amazing. This is one of my go-to recipes. I, my whole family loves it, everybody, including my daughter. And of course, Mauricio loves it. Ajiaco, A-J-I-A-C-O. For those of you who are new to my channel, I actually make quite a bit of Colombian food because my husband, Mauricio, is born and bred Colombian. He's now an American citizen. And I met him when I was stationed down in Bogota. Over the years, I've added numerous Colombian dishes to my repertoire. Most of them are pretty easy. I like this one because it's super cheap and super easy to make. There are obviously varying levels to this recipe for cost. I am going with the fastest version of it. Still not terribly expensive. It makes a huge amount of food. Back to the task at hand, clocks running. Ooh, I just wasted three minutes. Gotta get going. First things first, this recipe starts with rice. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started in making that or we will not get done in 30 minutes. I'm gonna make rice the traditional Colombian way, which is a lot less healthy than the traditional steamed American rice, mostly because it has oil. So I have two cups of rice. Obviously, my four cups of water. Olive oil. Just enough to make it floaty. And salt. Now, I will tell you, I always undersalt my rice and it makes Mauricio mad every time, but so be it. And then turn on the rice and we're good to go. Now, this is a recipe that I've kind of created a little bit myself, a little bit with my mother-in-law's help. I'll put the recipe down in the description box, but just to know, it, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just dump and do, any amount will do. Just as long as you have enough liquid to cook your potatoes and your corn, you're probably pretty good. You need two containers of chicken stock, or you can make your own, or you can even use water with bouillon cubes. Then you can use fresh garlic, powdered garlic. We have minced garlic from Costco. Ground black pepper. I have salt, any kind of salt, bay leaves, and then I have finesse herb best, which is uh, basically a fine herb blend. So, and then over here, I've got, this is one whole chicken that I bought from the store, whole roasted, and I just pulled the skin on the bones out and that's the chicken. I've got four corn on the cobs cut in half, about six Yukon gold potatoes, 
Um, I think some of them were small, so I ended up actually using eight, but usually six large ones. And then we have crema and capers, cilantro, and avocado. Let me talk to you about the crema. In Colombia, the cream, like the whole fat cream cream, is um, actually the consistency of our sour cream. So you can get it at specialty markets, but you don't have to use it. You can use just regular cream, half and half, even milk or even sour cream. It, all of them work. It's totally up to you. Um, I like the crema personally because I think it's awesome because I, I just like it. It's super, super thick cream that looks just like sour cream. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna take our chicken stock and dump it in the pot. And then our potatoes. Uh oh, a little splashy. A lot splashy. That's what kitchen cleaning's for, right? When you're choosing your potatoes for this, you need to include at least half being Yukon Gold potatoes. The potatoes in Colombia, they call them papas criollas, and they're these little tiny potatoes. And basically when you're making this an authentic dish, you get those potatoes and throw them in. And what happens is the, the potato itself is very, I don't know, it almost disintegrates in the liquid. So using Yukon Gold potatoes is imperative because that's the closest we have in the United States to papas criollas it will thicken the base of your soup. There's actually a step later on where you're going to actually thicken the soup using the potato. So it, um, you can use other kinds. In fact, Columbia, they usually use anywhere from three to seven different kinds of potatoes. This one is all Yukon Gold because that's what we have in our house. And then the corn. Then you add your bay leaves. I usually add three. And if you guys don't know about Penzi spices, these are the best spices in the world. Um, I'm not sponsored to do this, but Penzi's.com, I'll leave a link below. They're amazing. And I'm gonna turn this on high until it starts boiling. I bet you're wondering why I didn't add any spices. Well, I actually wait until the last five minutes of making this soup, other than the bay leaves, the bay leaves I put in from the beginning. In the last five minutes of making the soup is when I add all the spices. I want them to simmer enough to get the flavor, but I don't want them to stay in so long that they get bitter. So this has been boiling for 20 minutes, so now we're gonna add the herbs. And with the herbs, the dry herbs, you can pretty much add whatever herbs you want, whatever you like your soup base flavored as. I like finas herbas or fine herbs. And um, I put about two tablespoons in because I like really flavorful broth. You can add more or less. I have chopped up cilantro and I'm gonna add about half of that. Saving a little under half for garnish. And then I'm going to add a lot of garlic because we love garlic in my household. Salt to taste. Pepper also to taste. And then you add the chicken. And let it boil five more minutes. You can pull about a cup, maybe two cups of potatoes out and put them in the blender after they're boiled or put uh, use a stick blender if you'd like to thicken the broth a little. I am not doing that tonight for speed sake. I'm just gonna leave it like it is and then as I serve it the potatoes will start falling, falling apart little by little and it'll thicken the broth a little bit. But truthfully, you can do it, you cannot do it. So 
as you can see, let me see if I can bring this up so you can see it. The potatoes are starting to fall apart a little bit. The more you move them around, the more they'll fall apart. And then to serve this, you put a big dollop of crema, sprinkle, oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot corn. So since I covered up my crema, I'm gonna make it a little more so it looks pretty. Corn, crema, cilantro on the top. And I, it, Colombians, depending on who you talk to, will or won't eat it with capers. Oh, there's the timer, 30 minutes are up. Perfect timing, capers, just however much. If you like capers, use them. If you don't like them, um, Mauricio don't like them, which I think is weird, but no, don't use them. And then take avocado and lay it on the top. And let's make this all pretty. So then you put rice on the side. Now a true Colombian will probably dump the rice into the bowl with the soup, but you don't have to do that. It's totally up to you. I like it in the soup though. Yummy. A true Colombian will probably dump the rice into the bowl with the soup. And here comes a true Colombian right now. Wanna come say hi to the folks, everybody? Huh? What are you saying about Colombians? I am talking about Colombians. Come, say hello to the folks. Hello. As you can see, my mother has very much a sense of humor like I do. Make sure you check out Tanji and Amanda's channels. They're awesome and fantastic people. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click on the big laughing face to subscribe to my channel. And I'm putting two videos that you can click on to keep on watching next to me. So go ahead and keep on watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.